Hey guys, King Kate here and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make UI on Roblox. So let's get right into this So this is some UI that I made just a little bit ago. Well, actually I made this UI probably about a month ago but Yeah, pretty simple and super easy to use so in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to make UI and how to make good looking UI such as this so right here This is some pretty nice looking UI right now. This right here isn't finished but it almost is, such as like the buttons work and everything. So to actually start making the UI, we need the base. So what we are going to do, under starter GUI right here, click the little plus icon and type in screen GUI and then click on this one right here. And here it is. Now just name it whatever you want it to be. So since I already have coins, I'm going to name it gems. So let's just double click that and let's name it gems just like this. And now you want to add whatever you want it to be, which I accidentally renamed it. But yeah, add whatever you want it to be. So click this little plus icon. And if you want to add a button, then it can be a text button. If you want to add a button with text, if you want it to be an image button, then you would click image button. But if you just want it to be a little thing that shows up that the player can't really do anything to it, then just add like an image label or a text label. But in this case, we're going to add a image label right here. Let's grab it. Let's scale it about right there because that's going to be the little gem bar. Well, I guess we can't really do much without the UI. So let's go ahead and start creating it. So to create good looking GUI, what I recommend doing is going to this website called Pic Pixlr E. It's completely free to use. I actually use it to make all my thumbnails and stuff as you can see right there. So just click create design and we want it to be wide. So let's go ahead and do this. Actually, let's put the height at like 500 and then the length at 1500, just like this. Something around there. So then it's kind of long, just like this. Now what you want to do, add a circle. Let's just go ahead and make that white. So add a circle, hold down shift to make it a good size circle. There we go. Now click shift D and let's just go ahead and move it over just like this. Now let's go ahead and click this right here. Click control D to duplicate it and let's go back into shape. Let's click this button right here to make it a square. By the way, I do recommend kind of getting used to using Pixlr E before you do this because it may seem, seem confusing right now, but it's very easy to do. But yeah, let's go ahead and click clicking Control D to duplicate it. And let's just move it like this. And then this is going to be the little bar right here. Let's go ahead and merge that down just like this. So we have a solid object right here. So we're going to add the color later. But now what we want to do is click Control D again and just move it downward just a little bit. So let's go ahead and move that downward. Not too much, but just a little bit. Maybe about right there. Let's go ahead and move it down over here as well. Click Adjustment, Hue and Saturation. And let's just bring the lightness down just a little bit to make it a little bit darker. And you go ahead and... Right now is about where you would decide how much detail you want your GUI to have. But yeah, if you wanted to have even more detail, you can add another layer. But what we are going to do is merge those together. Let's go ahead and let's click filter, outline, and let's add a outline. Let's make it a darker gray than that because we want it to be a little bit darker just like this. Let's go ahead and do this about right there. So there we go. Now we have a white GUI right here. And now we can go ahead and add whatever color we want it to be. Let's just scale it up a little bit more. So what we are going to do is click layer, new layer to make a new layer just like this. Go to this little gradient icon right here. And since this is going to be gems, what we are going to do is let's put it about right there-ish. Yeah, there we go. And now we are going to click this other one. So we are adding a gradient right now, by the way. So about right there. And now what we can do is just do this. It may look a little bit weird right now, but don't worry. So what we're going to do, right click this, blend mode, turn that to multiply. There we go. And now what we can also do is let's click select, select pixels, select again, invert selection, and then delete this one right here. There we go. Now we'll click this and just click over here to get rid of that. And there we go. There's our little ge gem thing right there. And now if you want to, you can click it again and you can go to adjustment, hue and saturation. And if you want it to be a little bit more saturated, then you can go ahead and drag it up just like this. But let's go ahead and put it about right there. Also, if you want to change the color, then just do that right there with like a different color. Or if you're lazy, you can go adjustments, hue and saturation. And you can just change the hue so it can be like green, be yellow, orange. And, and you can just do it with all of these colors right here. But I recommend doing it with the gradient thing. But yeah. But yeah, so now what we are going to do, click file, save. 
and then save this right here. Now, once you have that saved, click create new, create social post just like this, 1080 by 1080. Now let's go ahead and add in a circle just like this. So another circle, let's make it white as well. Control D and we're just doing the exact same thing as we did for the banner. So now once you have this right here, what you want to do, let's just scale that up just a little bit and about right there. We want it to pretty much be the size of this. And yeah, about right there works. Now just go ahead and add in a plus like this. Let's make that Y. There we go. So let's add a plus. Go ahead and add in whatever whatever font you want. I'm going to use the Luckiest Guy font because it does look pretty good. Kind of line that up with the middle. Let's also click Control D to duplicate and move it downward. And let's just make a little bit darker one just underneath that. And there we go. Now let's scale it up a little bit more. And there we go. There's our button right there. Now let's go ahead and save this as well. So now back in studio, go ahead and click on your image label. Scroll down to where it says image. Click on this and click the add image and then click choose file and add your file. So there we go. There's our little bar right there. Let's go ahead and scale it so it kind of matches. So yep, about right there. Now scroll up and where it says border transparency, put that at one. And there you go. There's your little thing once again. Let's actually scale that up a little bit more. About right there is good. I'll just put it right here even though I do have my coins item right there. So, yeah, so now once we have this, let's actually rename it to Gem Gem Bar. I don't think it can have the name Gem Bar. So let's actually just name it Gem Label, maybe just like that. So now what we want to do under this, let's add in a button. So let's click this, click the plus icon and image button. Now let's go ahead and move it about right there. Scroll down and add in your button image. So there we go. There's the button. Once again, let's go up to where it says border transparency, put that all the way up. And if you don't like how the button looks, you can always go back and change it in Pixlr E. Like right now, it doesn't really look the best because the outline of this button isn't really like too big. So you can't really see the outline too good. So there we go. I went back and changed it. So now let's click, click create. And there we go. Now the outline of it matches just a little bit better. Now what we want to do, let's click the plus icon again. And let's add a text label just like this. Let's put it about right there. Scroll down and let's change the text color to white and click OK. Now let's go back and let's change the border transparency to one once again. Let's go down here. Let's scroll down to the luckiest guy font and let's click text scaled. And now let's add in a text. So this is going to be how much gems you have. So let's just do 999 slash 999 so there we go click enter and now let's scale it up just until it matches so about right there so this would just be a little gem counter i don't know how to script so yeah we're just gonna leave this here for now but if you do know how to script then you can always change that to match with how much gems you have so now what we are also gonna do click the plus icon click image label so image label just a square like this and now once you have this just go ahead and add in your diamond image such as this one right here let's go ahead and turn the transparency to one by the way i'll show you all in just a second where y'all can get tons of vectors from so yeah let's actually go ahead and select all of this stuff right here and let's just move it over. So now we moved it over. Let's select this once again, the image label. And we can add a outline if we want to, but we'll just leave it there for now. And I should probably rotate the diamond a little bit more, but it looks all right. So yeah, and there it is right there. We can also change this so it's over just a little bit more. There we go. And there we go. There's our nice UI right there. And you pretty much do the exact same thing with creating the other thing so let's actually click this like enable there we go so you pretty much do the exact same thing with creating this right here and that right there as well so yeah so it's pretty much the exact same thing with creating this right here and the buttons so the buttons you just do the exact same thing but instead of like oval looking thing you do it with a square so yeah so these are squares right here with a black outline which i actually forgot i should have added a black outline to the gem thing but it's all right yeah, it would probably look better with a black outline, but it's okay for now. Also, if y'all want to know where to get all these vectors from, including all these vectors right here and all these packs right here with all this money, all these clicks, diamonds, coins, and all this stuff, go to this dude on Twitter, RhinosGFX, click this link, and it will take you over to his vector page right here where you can buy all sorts of vectors. I recommend this pack right here, which is the one that I have, I believe. Yep, this one right here, you get 800 plus vectors and it's just crazy good because you get all of these stuff right here for only $12. So yeah, so for only $12, you do get all of these things right here, which is just like crazy good. Lots of games use them because of like how many there are. 
and it's only $12. So yeah, so I recommend doing that if you want to get these things right here. Also, how to add this little like pop-up effect, what you do is you go over to the button. So right here, where is it at? So coins, buy more coins button. And then under here is the shop frame right here. And under here, these are the coin buttons such as this one right here. So you just add two images. So if you scroll down, it says image and then hover image. So for image, it's just this image right here. And then for the uh, ho hover image, it's the same image, but just scaled up a little bit. So, so it just gets a little bit bigger. So, so for the image, you just add a regular image. And then for the hover one, you add a little, the same image, but you scale it up just a little bit more. So then it adds a little pop-up effect just like this. And then, yeah. And yeah, that is how you go ahead and create GUI on Roblox Studio, though. So that's going to go ahead and be all for this video. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video.